how to memorize anything fast and easy using my personal four simple rules. I challenge you that after watching this video, you will learn the art of memorizing things fast. If you do not learn it, stop watching our videos in the future. We all know that some people are so good at remembering things fast and easily. I mean, they easily remember names, places, incidents and difficult concepts. You may be wondering that how these people can memorize something so fast. Well, remembering or memorizing anything fast is an art. It is not a natural gift. If you learn this art or this skill, you can even memorize anything way better than others. Unfortunately, no school or college is teaching us this art of memorizing things fast and easily. After watching this short video, you will master the art of memorizing things fast. Personally, I call it Nemancology. It is the field of science where we study the art of memorizing things using mnemonics. Now what is a mnemonic? Well, a system which assists us in remembering something fast. Later in this lecture, we will learn all about mnemonics. Don't worry if you do not find this term of nemancology or its definition in any book or dictionary. It is because personally I call it nemancology. Now let me quickly teach you that how your memory works at highest level or optimum level. Well, consider that you have watched a famous movie. As usual, you remember each and every event of the movie or you remember the whole story of the movie. Have you ever wondered that why this is happening every time you watch a movie? Well, the answer is simple. Your memory loves visualizing pictures to store it fast and easily. Let me repeat it. Your memory loves visualizing pictures to store it fast and easily. If you learn this art of your memory, which we will completely discuss in this video, you can easily memorize anything. Just note it down this important point about your memory. Now let me discuss my personal four rules of using nemancology. The first rule is using names or pictures of celebrities to memorize anything. For example, I want to memorize the fourth or the fourteenth group of the periodic table. Instead of cramming it for hours, I will use the mnemonic, a picture of Salman Khan. Secondly, I form a sentence in which all the elements are present. For instance, I say, Can Salman go South Punjab fast? Here, C stands for carbon, S stands for silicon, G stands for germanium, S stands for SN, which is the symbol of the tin, P stands for PB, which is the symbol of the lid, and F stands for fluorium. Remember that, if you do not form sentences of mnemonics, then join Najm Academy, we have hundreds of them. Now my memory has stored the picture of Salman Khan about 14th or 4th group of the periodic table. Whenever I have to recall the elements of 14th group of the periodic table in any exam, I will just remember about Salman Khan. It will give me the hint about, can Salman go South Punjab fast? So this is how I remember the 14th group of the periodic table. Therefore, using the pictures of celebrities, we can easily remember anything. The second rule is using attributes. For example, I want to learn the formula of Walden and the formula of moment in the physics. Now I say, man for duty, woman for smile. So using the attributes of something, we can easily learn anything fast. The third rule is using pictures of your family members or relatives. For example, I want to learn the list of positive prefixes in physics. Here, I think about the picture of my dad. I say, dad has kept my gray truck. Here, D stands for Dika, H stands for Hecto, K stands for Kilo, M stands for Mega, G stands for Giga, T stands for Terra. I write 
10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3 and then I jump 3 times 10 to the power 6, 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power 12. Thus using the picture of our family members, we can easily attach any concept to it. The last and the fourth rule is using pictures of animals, heaven bodies like mountains, rivers, cities, countries, etc. For example, I want to learn about all the salts and the chemistry. We know that salts have two parts, metal part and negative ion part. To remember the list of salts, I consider the picture of cat. I say, cute cat, so nice. Here, C stands for carbonates like calcium carbonate, C stands for chlorides like sodium chloride, S stands for sulfate like magnesium sulfate and N stands for nitrates like sodium nitrate. Thus using this trick, we can learn the list of all the important salts and the chemistry. There may be some students who would spend more than one hour to memorize this list of all salts. But using this trick or this mnemonic, we can learn it in less than a minute. So this is the complete art of memorizing anything fast and easily. Finally, you may be thinking that how can you find all these mnemonics? The answer is simple. Join Najam Academy because our pictorial learning helps everyone across the planet. I hope that you have learned the art of memorizing things fast and easily.